Hey everybody, Ryan here. Uh, just want to kind of do a video review of the components, a little bit closer look than some of the photos and stuff, and just go over some of the aspects that are that I think are neat. Um, first off, I want you to understand that this is a big plane. This is 62.9 inch wingspan. A lot of guys can't fit this into their car. You know, a lot of these planes coming out these days, plug-in wings, you glue them up, you're stuck. It's that size. And to be honest with you, up until a little while ago, I thought it was too. It was mentioned that the wings are modular on this from the manufacturer. And after some looking around and really scouring the plane surface, I found it. They are modular. These wings come off. You can unplug them, load it in your vehicle, truck to your local field, plug them up, and you're good to go, man. I am tickled pink. I got a buddy of mine, I'm very fortunate, to, that has a trailer and he's willing to share that um, with me. But at the same time, you know, if, if he's down and out, he's sick, and I just have to fly this plane, I can take it apart, fit it in my van, we're good to go. Uh, I want to show you that aspect right now. In your bag or in your box, you'll have a bag with all your control rods and uh, uh, some clevises and everything for your control services. And it's got a carbon tube. It's, you know, uh, it's long enough to fit to both aspects of the, uh, to, to the ends of both wings. And what you have in the wing is a little hole right there okay and that hole is a screw and what you're going to do is you're going to slide this tube in all the way back you'll feel a little resistance and it's sliding into a plastic sleeve when you feel that resistance and go ahead and push past until you can't push in no more it's a standard Phillips head screw give it a few turns you'll feel it snug down don't over tighten it you'll strip that screw head you don't want that and Bob's your uncle, it's in there. It's not twisting, it's not pulling, nothing. It is strong. Uh, now, I mean, I'm sure I could probably flex it and break it, but for the purposes of the plane, it's two screws, hold the wing together in the fuselage, done. You ain't gotta fuss with it no more, you ain't gotta worry about it no more. Uh, the LEDs on it are very bright for the landing lights, the wing tip lights, and they're kind, of, they're kind of dim, but that's okay. I mean, you only want to, you'll still probably be able to see it at night. I'm definitely going to test that aspect out. I'll fly it at dusk, see how it does. Um, you've got your ailerons, your outer flap, and your inboard flap, uh, each controlled by their own individual servo. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? We have a fuselage. Fuselage has tons of room down in the uh, nose of the plane, and we can fit. I have a 4,000 milliamp 3S lipo, and it slides right in, no problemo. Uh, it's, it's plenty of room. You can squeeze a 4S in there if you would like. However, with that being said. The ESCs cannot handle 4S. I spoke with the manufacturer about this possibility. They said make sure you get ESCs that can handle 4S before you go 4S. You will burn these ESCs up. Also, they recommend a BEC, a separate BEC. I know a lot of times we get these companies like Dynam where you get a plane, you got two ESCs, and you got a ton of servos, and you're like, do I put in a BEC or not? Standard rule of thumb, if you got more than four servos, put in a BEC. Um, this company confirms that you need a separate BEC. Castle Creations 10 amp, that's what I'm putting in it. As soon as it comes in, it'll be hooked up and ready to go. Uh, I'm also going to show you the nose gear retract. Let me turn on my transmitter here, plug some stuff up. The So it's plugged up and what we have 
here's the door and you can see the door is kind of recessed a little bit in there I'll probably just take a toothpick and glue it on the inside edge so it sits nice and flush uh, it's really easy to fix no big deal but uh, here's the retract what you have is another rubber uh, rubber wheel for the front spins nice and freely and you have this offset um, strut that pushes along the side of the gear door and the gear door is spring loaded so real easy to uh, to manip to uh, open and close real reliable not a bunch of rigging not an extra servo that you got to worry about just up and down and you're good something else I want to point out is the structure that the retract is mounted to that's birch okay it's plywood and it's strong it's sturdy there's a lot there for that nose gear it can take a pounding it's not going to break out unless you were trying to crash this plane which I don't recommend to do because it's gorgeous and I think it'd break your heart um, but there is no oleo strut function to the nose gear but that's fine <laughs> The mains are going to be taking the beating or the brunt of the force when it comes down and that's what you want is the mains to take the punishment and the nose to settle in. Uh, next up is the Bombay doors. Another little goodie here. Basically it's just a uh, real quick open close and inside goes seven of these little bombs okay now you hear that there's weight in the nose of these bombs to make sure they drop like bombs are supposed to drop they're not going to float or flutter around at least I don't think they are all the weight is in the nose of this thing to get it to go down so it should have no problems dropping straight out of the plane. They uh, look really good, and I think it's going to show nicely falling. In fact, I'm going to load them up, and I'm going to do a drop. My assistant's going to come in here and help me out. Thank you, dear. I just chewed up. That's, no, that's fine. Just chewed. This is my daughter, Stella. Hello. <laughs> Last one. Thank you for your assistance, young lady. So, I'm going to do a quick little drop for you here. Let y'all see. One, two, three. Just like that, they all fall out. No, there's still one more. Is there still one more in there? Uh huh. Oh, he got hung up. You know what? I probably put it in the wrong direction. There's a little lip on that side, I think. Uh, drop no big it, deal. No, nah, I'm not going to drop it. We're going to put them in. If you'll be kind enough to hand them all back to me, and we'll load them back in. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I'll be back, and I will show you uh, some other aspects of the plane. Be right back. Uh.